If you are thinking of getting out of the graphic design program, please do not take internships that are meant for graphic design students. If you are not going to complete the graphic design program, your internship should be registered under RFU, Arts and Humanities Internship, not Graphic Design Internship. In that case, you will work with RFU Internship Advisor. Also, I want you to understand first when to register your internship course. You need to fill out the forms after the first day of semester. And you should turn them in to register internship course before the deadline to add or drop class for that semester. This information applies only for students with graphic design concentration. If you are art studio major, yet not in graphic design program, please do your internship with a few internship advisor. As of 2020, a few advisor a few internship advisor is Professor John Rupert. If you are graphic design concentration, then I, Rieko Chasey, is your internship advisor. First of all, here are prerequisites. There are two courses you must complete before you can earn credit from your graphic design internship. One is Arts 355, Intermediate Graphic Design Principle. The second is Arts 356, Graphic Design Processes. You can earn maximum nine credits from your internship, or if you have multiple from your internships. However, um, you can only earn up to three credits to your graphic design electives. What I mean by graphic design elective is this. So on your track three academic advising sheet, these are the courses listed as graphic design electives. Only three credits from one internship can give you three credits as graphic design electives. And the first class you register as internship should be registered as Arts 386, Experimental Learning. Looks like this course. And the rest of six credit, if only if you choose to earn more than three credits from your internship, uh, you can do this. But if you are not planning to do so, this information is not relevant to you. So if you earn six more credit after completing three credit of graphic design internship, you can count this uh, six credit towards uh, this UNIV 101 or equivalent. Basically, you can like count those six credits 
you earn from your graphic design internship to the number of credits that you need to graduate. So the six credit can be counted towards like 120 credits you must have in order to graduate University of Maryland. And if you choose to earn more than three credits from your internship, you have to register it as Art 498A or Art 498B. And you must consult me which section to register. For example, you can't just decide to register your internship as Art 498A or B. Each semester, I have to decide which, uh, class, um, which section to conduct, either A or B. So before you fill out forms, you have to consult with me first. Again, this information is not relevant to you if you do not do internship more than like for three credits. And the uh, three credit of internship that you can do that's counted towards graphic design electives must be registered under ART 386 experimental learning. But in order to earn credits to um, you know, work on your degree from internship, you must first get a graphic design related job. And you have to see if your graphic design internship qualifies for the uh, requirement to earn credits. So to earn three credits from your internship, you must work 150 hours of working hours per semester. So if you want to earn three credits of Art 386 experimental, ex, experimental learning, then you have to um, start working from the beginning of semester to the end of semester, fulfilling 150 hours of work in order to earn three credit to complete the course at 386. Then once you determine that your job qualifies to earn credit, from Art 386, then you need to download the forms on the art department website. All the necessary graphic design internship forms can be downloaded on this website, www.art.umd.edu slash areas, A-R-E-A-S slash design, D-E-S-I-G-N slash courses dot HTML, C-O-U-R-S-E-S dot HTML. And that will take you to the list of graphic design courses and descriptions. And when you look at this um, course title, Art386, Experiment, ex, experiential learning, which is design internship. You see all these like links, the red, uh, the red links, the internship permission form and confirmation form. And uh, you need to download these two forms and uh, you need to send those forms to Tina, not 
uh, Jennifer anymore. Tina in the art office. And once you obtain the forms, you have to get the signature of your supervisor. And the forms look like this. And then you also have to fill the internship form. It looks like this. Then you also have to obtain the uh, signature of graphic design internship advisor. That's me. And turning those two forms to Tina in the art department office. And then you need to register at 386. Once you are enrolled in the internship course, you have access to uh, your internship course via ELMS. So make sure you do all the assignments that's posted on ELMS for your internship to earn three credit and get a grade for that. Again, if you are not going to complete the graphic design program, your internship should be registered under RFU, Arts and Humanities Internship, not Graphic Design Internship. In that case, you will work with RFU Internship Advisor, not me. So here is a recap. The prerequisite for um, doing Graphic Design Internship is uh, for you to complete Art 355 and 356, which you should have taken already um, in your first semester after you got into graphic design program, Art 355, Intermediate Graphic Design Principles, and Art 356, Graphic Design Processes. Then uh, the forms for the internship, which is Art 386, Experiential Learning, is found on this uh, website, on UMD Art Department website, with the address is here. Then the forms should be filled out after the first day of semester. And you should um, register the course, like going through the steps I explained before the deadline to add or drop class. And as, um, to register the internship course, you need to uh, give the completed forms to Tina. Her email address is right there. And remember, only three credits count towards graphic design electives. So if you do more than three credits of internship, those credits will be just counted as the number of credits you need to graduate. For example, um, most people need to earn 120 credits to graduate. So if you choose to do nine credits of graphic design internship, the first three credit will count towards graphic design electives, but the rest of six credit will be just counted towards how many credit you earned as an undergraduate before you graduated from UMD. And uh, if you choose to do more than three credits of internship, you have to register those under Art 498A or Art 498B. And to determine the section A or B, you must contact the internship advisor, Rieko Chasey and her email address is there. 
And remember, the three credits of internship that's counted towards your graphic design electives is always registered under Art 386 Experiential Learning. Once you successfully register your course and then you are enrolled, you should be able to access to your internship course on ELMS. And if you don't see that, and if you don't have access to that, then there was something wrong with your registration process. So you need to figure it out. Thank you for uh, listening. Uh, good luck.